Launch Dayton represents a safe and welcoming place to be an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur is really tough. You're venturing out into uncharted waters, you're taking a risk, you're putting your brand, you're putting your identity out there. And it's so important that we have a community of like-minded people who've been through it too, who are there to help build you up. The sense of community, um, the sense of people being there, rooting for you to win. Launch Dayton has filled a void. Uh, specifically and especially for black entrepreneurs. I think it means a lot to our community because for the first time, either for, for the first time period or the first time in a long time, there was a clear pathway into like business and entrepreneurship and resources and connections and relationships and, and um, technical assistance, classes, workshops, where it was put in layman's terms, where they really leaned in and they really felt seen in the content. Sometimes you don't know what's out here until you know. So just being connected with the people that's involved in a program like this, it's just like a ripple effect. They connect you with this person and this person and that's how you start to know more and to be able to grow individually. Hey y'all, I am Audrey. I am the communications manager here at Launch Dayton. And I'm the project manager, Reginald Henderson. Uh, if you own a business or help businesses, you've probably seen me out and about. Uh, so we're jumping in, uh, jumping in here today to share an announcement. Uh, you may not have been aware, uh, but for the last eight or so years, uh, Launch Dayton uh, has called, uh, we've had a home, a home host organization. Uh, we have called Parallax Advanced Research uh, Home. They've, they've housed our program as we've grown. Uh, but here, uh, starting here in a few weeks, we're moving homes. Uh, so the Launch Dayton program will be, uh, will be moving to live at the Entrepreneur Center, uh, still here uh, in downtown Dayton uh, in the hub, uh, serving all of you. And what you have to look for in this video is some familiar faces from the Launch Dayton community, uh, entrepreneurs, people who have been working on Launch Dayton uh, in-house, uh, and even some people from the Entrepreneur Center so that you can learn what to expect moving forward. started really as a project of some grant funding uh, Parallax had. While we are waiting for the program to really get started, we uh, started meeting with entrepreneurs and finding out that they were kind of out there on their own. Um, a lot of people had maybe an uncle or a, a friend who was also an entrepreneur, but they really didn't have a network. Uh, and we kept hearing that story over and over again and thought we could do something about it. John had discovered that some other startup ecosystems that were doing pretty well have resource guides that were available to their entrepreneurs to kind of help them figure out where the service providers were and the different resources that they could tap into to help their businesses grow. We uh, got in, we got into the community, started meeting with different entrepreneurs and the different service providers mm -hmm. and figuring out what the best ways were to try to create moments where they could get connected and um, so that we could support those entrepreneurs to really get their businesses up and running and then, you know, Scale. Launch Dayton's position to me is like when you go to a party by yourself and you don't really know anybody and then you look around uh, and you like see somebody that you met before you're like oh do I engage them but they come up to you and they start giving you all this conversation and it's like oh my god I'm having a, a great uh, experience at this party now because I, met, I know somebody they're connecting me with their friends and now I feel like I fit right in. It's fun to see the collisions mm -hmm. that happen uh, when you bring a bunch of people together who wouldn't normally be hanging out at the same party. For sure. Because uh, you just, you never know uh, who you're going to connect with. Uh, and so, engineered serendipity. Serendipity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really fun to be a part of. That first startup week. <laughs> That first startup week was, uh, well, first of all, it was so much energy and so much fun. Um, you know, we saw a, a really large group of people come together and get to kind of rub elbows with other people who were in the throes of trying to launch a business. We actually got an, an old building, which is now the 444 building, and um, it, it was uh, it was a mess. I remember before we, you know, when we were in the process of trying to get the, the building ready, we we're sweeping up like dead cockroaches. Approaches and like it was terrible, <laughs> but we had a vision 
I, I just remember, like, the, the building wasn't, like, totally complete yet. Like, the furniture, like, wasn't totally all set up. Um, but, you know, the people were still there, and the people were still great. You know, I remember talking to Jay um, Nigro and, 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 a, and a whole bunch of the other kind of, like, nucleus crew who were really pulling together uh, that community. Uh, and, and, gosh, I, I love them all because they, they were just... They were hustling. They were hacking it together, uh, and and they weren't worried about stuff like furniture <laughs> being like totally ironed out yet. Part of the reason we wrote the grant that got the funding to do this work uh, was because Dayton was on some hard times, and we saw entrepreneurship and commercialization of tech into growing companies that could hire people in Dayton as a path forward for um, bettering the community. Uh, but then when we started having those meetings with uh, the entrepreneurs, those early one-on-ones to find out what their problems were, um, it really became more about the individual people than the companies that they were going to build here. Um, it's been a real, it's been a real honor to get to tell the stories of our region's entrepreneurs. Uh, I've met so many of you. Uh, usually, I'm on the other side of the camera, which I prefer. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's. Just been a been a real honor uh, to tell the stories and see what you guys are getting into and how we can support you uh, and, and the different events. You know, we've uh, we've had the opportunities to collaborate with lots of different kinds of organization and different kinds of entrepreneurs, um, and so it's just been a lot of fun uh, to meet all of you over the last several years. And to see the development, even though I've only been here for a couple years, uh, just seeing the growth of the companies that have been a part of Launch Dating over the past eight years, and then even the companies that I have been able to engage with personally, uh, seeing their development and how uh, much of an impact the Launch Dating community has had in their growth as entrepreneurs and as people. Uh, so I think Launch Dating does a great job of really synergizing uh, that intersection of person and entrepreneurs. I'm proud of what I was able to contribute and do with the Dayton entrepreneurial ecosystem and especially catalyzing, helping to catalyze uh, the diversity and inclusion and equity of our ecosystem. Um, because what it looks like today is not what it looked like before. Entrepreneur Rising Academy, which used to be the Early Rises Academy, is a 10-week business boot camp that many of you have been a part of and helped to jumpstart you guys' businesses. Uh, that's my favorite because of the interaction that I'm able to have with uh, these entrepreneurs. We uh, go through this curriculum and they're learning and everybody's having these mo these critical moments, like aha moments and just really hitting it off with each other and in their businesses. Every week we talk about something that I can provide, you know, so if it's marketing, if it's my, uh, uh, my pricing sheet, if it's just explaining how my business works, everything that I can take that step, first step with ERA helped me with, and I never, I never felt like I wasn't prepared for an opportunity. I was nervous, um, excited at the same time too, but ready. Uh, but the experience was everything that I needed to build that the confidence that I needed to for my business. This transition for me personally is very bittersweet. I've just been a huge fan of Launch Dayton. Like uh, as soon as I moved back to this area, um, just really found a home and, and a welcoming you know place with you guys. Something that. It, you guys have done so well is finding all kinds of entrepreneurs that are in different areas of their you know their journey that are doing different things that you just capture the full breadth of what our community has and so i think it's really important that we continue to tell the diverse stories that are out there with this transition it means that i do get to be a part of the organization and i, I can keep the storytelling going and i can keep you know the resources and just the energy that you guys have created flowing um, which is exciting but it's just it's also really bittersweet i would probably say the same it's you know it's going to be a new normal the having been here this has been the dynamic the entire time i've been a working part of the ecosystem and not an entrepreneur, right? So just seeing the shift in the transition, um, I'm excited to see what it what becomes of it. But definitely um, 
it's a changing of guards. You see the people. It's not just launch date and the brand. You you get to know the humans behind the brand, and so it's really important from my perspective that as this transition takes place, that the EC is not just a company, but like we are people and we are at these events and we are supporting our community. I'd like to give a shout out to Parallax Advanced Research and uh, my boss, Dennis Andersh, uh, for allowing us the freedom over the last seven or eight years to really take Dayton Tech Guide and launch Dayton where the community needed us to go. Launch Dayton has always been about the people. Uh, and, and I know we're handing off the Launch Dayton brand to good people at the Entrepreneur Center who care about entrepreneurs uh, and that have, you know, have been brought into the community because of some of the programming that we did. Uh, so I, I'm looking forward to see what they uh, do with it and uh, trust that they'll still um, have the same care and respect we did for our entrepreneurial community. It was a great time, a great run. And so, you know, I really, really hope that the next chapter of Launch Day and it's going to be as impactful, as intentional, as powerful, you know, to our community. Because, uh, man, we helped a lot of entrepreneurs. We've been helping black businesses and, and owners you know, really get to economic prosperity in some way, shape or form and get connect connection to resources, mentorship, you know, funding, you know, things that are really changing people's lives. So, you know, it's a uh, it's important work. And uh, I just can't wait to see what's next. Thank you guys for sticking with us as we announce this transition and making it all the way through this video. Uh, we're excited to see what comes next. We hope you are too. Yes, yes. So keep building your businesses, keep the live day mission thriving, and do what you do best because we love to see our entrepreneurs thrive.